Is this the end, December 21st, 2012, the end of the world? According to the Mayan calendar, it was to be the end of the world. It was also the expected due date of the birth of my son. Instead, he came early, December 2nd, 2012. The world did not end, and his world began. His name is Razo Yong Kim. Yong in the Korean language means dragon. In the Chinese horoscope, the year of the black dragon was 2012. I have a tattoo I got years before Raza was born, and at the time, it was like a premonition to something. When I got the tattoo, I let the artist free hand draw it on my arm, not knowing what he was going to draw. Once finished, I approved and got the tattoo done permanently. It is ironic how things turned out because my tattoo is of a black dragon storming out of the clouds, taking over the Los Angeles skyline. Rather than being a premonition, I see this now as my son being born in the city we call home. Home for Razo is Los Angeles, California. He considers it to be the center of the universe. Razo was born in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Actually, he was born at Cedar sinai Hospital. He is the first and only son to interior designer Abigail Santa Maria and CrossFit trainer and massage therapist at Fremont College, me, Kevin Kim. When his mother was pregnant, we decided we wanted a unique name for our son. We decided on Razo. Sounds like a nin ninja name from a ninja movie. It actually means royalty in French. I still yell out, Razo the ninja, in excitement before his birth. Ironically, heroes he liked first was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let me show you a picture. Ever since, he has been training to be a ninja and has exceptional sword fighting skills. He also has hopes to be a Jedi Knight and his handling of the lightsaber has become quite exceptional as well. In addition, he recognizes shapes and colors, draws, impersonates, sings, and dances. Oh, and he also trains in CrossFit and hopes to be one of the fittest kids on earth. Being born here in the United States of America and having a Filipino mother and Korean father, he not only knows how to speak three languages, he speaks four. The fourth being Spanish because of the strong Mexican-American community here in Los Angeles. How can you be a Los Angelino without some knowledge of some Spanish words? He adapted the iPad since he was one years old, and lately he navigates and watches a lot of YouTube, watching other kids play with Avengers action figures. Since he has finally started to play with Avengers action figures, I bought him many, many years ago. Something he hopes to do on a consistent basis is to poop in the potty. He hopes to learn from public speaking to learn how to speak out every time he needs to go poop in the potty so someone can help him. Razo is such a unique name. It, meant to be, it is, was meant to be remembered. A dream of his in honor of his Canadian mother is to become a hockey player. He will be joining junior Los Angeles Kings to become a professional hockey player. Perhaps you will hear his name again when he is holding up the Stanley Cup trophy for the Los Angeles Kings at Staples Center sometime in the near future. Thank you very much.